Hello, I'm David Attenborough. Welcome to our garden. Gareth Cliff here at cliffcentral.com. And all of this, our little water feature outside, our vegetable garden, all the plants inside, which is like a big artificial forest, all made possible by Lifestyle Home Garden, who've taught me an enormous amount about gardening in the last little while. And maybe if you've listened to the podcast, you've learned a lot too. The person we've got to thank for all of that is Robin Sher. Come here, Robin. Say hello. Hi, Gareth. Wait, Hi, everybody. everybody. Okay, good. So, Robin. Doing all of this, you're the expert, you're going to help us understand yes. what uh, works for the plants, what they like, what they want more of, what they don't like. Yes. We're going to check on whether Jane has done the expert job yes. that we hoped she would do. And we're going to find out about the health of our plants and at the same time, help you. So Robin is here to tell us whether or not we're looking after our plants properly. Maybe you can pick up some tips and hints as well. Spring is coming, but that doesn't mean everything just happens. We've got a couple of plants here I want to know about. What is this magnificent tree called? This is a Jocena, and what you have is quite a specimen. As you can see, it's beautifully tall, beautiful, different branches coming off, all from one thick, thick stem, How which is, is just tree? magnificent. I'm not sure, but it's probably at least 10 years. Wow. Yeah. Jane Malachi is the person responsible for making sure that all of our plants don't die and so far Jane has looked after all of them. Yes. There are some that are having a couple of issues, we'll get to those in a second, but Jane this is our pride and joy, huh? Yes. Very proud of this. I'm very proud of this because I didn't know that I have to put more water into this plant. I used to put small water. Now because she's here and she explained everything to me, I know that I have to pull, pull, pull this full of water, not half. Hmm. Yes. Thirsty. Mm -hmm. All right, so these three are okay. Are you happy with them? Yes, these three look great. As you can see, there's a touch of underwatering, but generally this looks great. Even this palm looks beautiful. This down here, beautiful. Looking very good. Let's give them some sun. And fresh air at the same time. Yeah. Welcome to our ICU for plants. Oh. These two crotons are very unhappy right now. They look very unhappy, Gareth. Who have they been near, Jane? Who sits with these two? Because this one's from your desk, this one's from my office. These two look fine. In other words, me and you, we always happy. Mm. Yes. Those people, they're always sad. Mm. I think Dory, Sia, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what can we do about these? So as you can see, the leaves are falling off here and they're also drooping quite a bit, which is either an indication of overwatering or underwatering. Um, and the falling off leaves means that these plants have changed environment and the temperature is not ideal. So either they were in a different environment, moved around a lot, or they didn't like the conditions that they were in. The way that you test for the underwatering or overwatering is just by sticking your finger in. Feel if the soil is dry or moist, deep, deep down. I can feel here that there's quite a bit of dry sand underneath, but the surface layer is wet. It means that they aren't being watered enough. So the water isn't soaking right down to the roots where it can take out that nutrient. And obviously, yes, I think that these need a better temperature. Maybe the studio is too hot or they were in no sunlight and then into lots of sunlight. Drastic change. You need to find like a happy medium between the two so that the, these leaves can revive themselves. I think I know what's the problem here because they've been by the window there and they moved and them then to, they the moved to this window. I Correct. know who moved them to the sun. And Punish them. This person killed my flowers. Oh no. Punish yes. them. Okay. Yes. I'm worried about my flowers because somebody's moving them to the sun. It's trying to kill my flowers here yeah, somewhere. Yes, you, Sia. You were trying to kill my flowers and you killed them. I mean, anyway. And as you can see, these two look excellent. The leaf color is yellow, orange, so it's been in ideal conditions. The leaves look strong and sturdy. Mm -hmm. And obviously they are in a happy environment. Jane and me, yeah. And they are in ideal conditions and haven't been moved around a lot. So that is why they're very happy. Well done, guys. As you can see, this palm has brown tips. What's happening here is that there's not enough humidity in the air. 
and there's not enough airflow moving around this plant so this shows that it is unhappy and I would suggest taking a spray bottle which I did bring for the Cliff Central team today filling it with water and once a week just misting these leaves so that they have a bit of moisture that's the poison isn't it <laughs> so this is to make the leaves shiny but this is what you need to create a bit of humidity in the air so that this plant can be happier so Robin, we're in my yes, office Gareth. now. Look how happy my plants are. How proud I should be. You should be, Gareth. This is obviously a happy environment and your plants look great. So this is a delicious monster. What's wrong with it? So there's nothing really wrong with this delicious monster. As you can see, this new light green leaf with these slits, it's obviously very happy, very fresh. It's getting good light, good environment and happy vibes from you. The only thing I can see is that there are watermarks on these leaves, but we have a solution for that. Sure. You want them to look shiny and clean. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this leaf shine. It's like hairspray for plants. Yes, I guess you can say that. So number one, it adds some nutrients to the leaves, but also it cleans the leaves, makes them shiny and beautiful. So I'm just going to do a few here. Oh, wow. Instantly takes away the water droplets. Hmm. And then it looks beautiful and fresh. Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. So, if you want to know more, you can listen to all the podcasts. Robin's been a regular guest of ours every Friday. We've covered a whole bunch of topics. Vegetable gardens, indoor plants, outdoor gardening, all the things you need to get in line for spring. If you need more, go to cliffcentral.com for the podcasts. And if you need the stuff, the plants, the equipment, the info, the knowledge, go to Lifestyle Home Garden. These are our veggies. We actually pick them and eat them. Watch. <laughs>